What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Budget Series. And today guys, the position that we are going to be taking a look at is defensive end. So this is obviously the players on your defensive line who are primarily pass rushers, but we're also going to look at players who can do a good job against the run. If you're new to this series, basically what we try to do here is find you guys some items that are going for fairly cheap that you don't have to spend as many coins on, but you can still get some nice productivity out of. And what we do is we take those items and we compare them against some other items who are maybe going for way too many coins. You know, a lot of the elites and uh, some of these items that just for some reason or another are really, really overpriced. And we compare the two of them. And it's not always that the cheaper items are better than the, the more expensive items, but usually they're fairly comparable, and, and that's really what we're going for. So what you're going to see today is my opinion of who the best players are for a budget. Now, obviously, if you have more money than what I have here, uh, you can obviously go up from here and find some better items, and I'll try and give you kind of a direction at least to go off of when you're looking at some of the items and and hopefully you can find some good attributes and find some players that work well within your budget but the budget that we're going for today is 5,000 coins per item so every item that you see today on this episode will be going for under 5,000 coins or right around 5,000 coins anyway and then we're going to compare those to the more expensive items so let's get things started then and we're going to start off taking a look at the run stuffing players so obviously these are the guys who kind of have more attributes geared towards stopping the run now obviously madden this year is not as geared toward the run as it was in madden 25 but there is still definitely a running aspect to the game so we do need to have players that can stop the run and that's not to say that these players necessarily can't get after the passer, but they're probably a little bit slower and they're probably more uh, block taking up type of players. So higher strength and um, probably higher in the finesse move and, and that kind of thing versus being higher in speed and acceleration. But the first two items that you're going to see here on your screen, on the left hand side of the screen, Rapati Patuatua, and I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, Ryan always corrects me on that and I can't I for whatever reason I can't remember how to freaking pronounce his name so I'm just going to call him Rapati because I'm pretty sure I got that part of it right uh, and then the opposite side of the screen Muhammad Wilkerson elite this is an 87 overall elite item and obviously the Petuata or Rapati as I'm going to call him is a road to the playoffs item so that's 83 overall versus Muhammad Wilkerson 87 overall and the price difference between these is pretty significant Petuatua is 5,000 coins versus Wilkerson at 40,000 coins. So let's take a look at these attributes. First of all, the major attributes that we look for, I have 10 of them that I look for at defensive end, and I've kind of broken it down into sections, I guess you could say, um, but you know, it depends on the actual player that you're looking at to determine what the most important attribute is. But I'll just run through them real quickly so that you guys are aware. Speed, acceleration, strength, block shed, power move, finesse move, tackling, hit power, awareness, and play recognition. So if you see a yellow attribute or, or an item with a, a background that's a yellow in the attribute, that means it's the same as the other card. If it's green, it's better. If it's red, it's worse. So as you can see here, the Wilkerson is definitely better in most of the areas, uh, but they are the same in quite a few of them. Speed, strength, and play recognition, they are all the same. Now, I will tell you, I think strength is one of the most undervalued attributes in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. It definitely was in Madden 25 as well. So that's one of the ones that I really look for. Acceleration, I believe, is a little bit more for the pass rushers, but I do still think it's something that you want to keep in mind. So you are going to notice that Rapati is a little bit faster than Wilkerson, and uh, that kind of can play a factor in run support as well, but it definitely plays a factor if he is in a situation where he does need to pass rush so uh, of course keep that in mind the major attributes that I look for strength obviously I mentioned that block shedding and power move or finesse move those are the three attributes now I noticed I said power move or finesse move because it can either it can be either of them frankly um, as far as I understand it the power move or the finesse move is basically uh, when a player is engaged in a block and you either, you know, if you're controlling them, you either press square or X and, and it gives you the, either the finesse move or the power move, depending on which one you press. 
but it's kind of almost an animation. So it, it basically, those attributes kind of determine how effective those animations are. And they go up against the opposing offensive lineman's pass block, run block, and strength. All three of those things kind of come into play depending on, you know, what the type of play is that you're running in that situation. So the higher they are in one of those attributes, the more likely they are to be able to make a play for you. And of course, having higher awareness and play recognition and all that kind of stuff will, you know, play a, somewhat of a factor, but we really want to focus on strength, block shed, and power move or finesse move. So as you guys can see here, the strength the same. Power move and finesse move, uh, obviously Wilkerson is a little bit higher in both of those. He's five higher in power move, but Rapati still has an 88 for the power move. That's very, very impressive for an item that's 83 overall and it's going for 5,000 coins. And then his block shed is 93. That is a, an awesome attribute for a guy that's going for this type of a price. And then you compare that to Muhammad Wilkerson at a 97, which is one of the best in the game. So Wilkerson, definitely one of the better defensive ends. I'm not going to try and tell you that he isn't, isn't better. Uh, for run support, he is an excellent item. Uh, he is great in tackling as well at a 96, although I will say that Rapati is not going to really lose any tackles. He's going to tackle almost everybody with that 92 tackling. So, all in all, what, what the point is here that I'm making with this comparison is that you can get an item that is very, very similar. It's, it's a very similar style item to Wilkerson for one-eighth of the price right now. And that's what I would do if you're building a budget squad. Rapati is definitely going to be the type of item that you can use on your squad to kind of build up toward a Wilkerson if you want to do that at some point. But uh, for the time being, I think that you would be very, very happy if you went with a Rapati for 5,000 coins because you're just not going to find any better left defensive ends for run support than him. So let's move on now to the right defensive end position. And in this comparison, we have Desmond Bryant, who is going for 5,000 coins. And we're going to be comparing him to Jason Hatcher, who is going for 50,000 coins. Now, Desmond Bryant is a team of the week item. So that is a little bit risky for me to put into this video because I know that the team of the week items become less and less prominent in the game as people, you know, they're out of, of, of uh, packs now and then they end up being put into sets and things like that so there's less and less and less of them as time goes on so as you guys are watching this six months from now please understand that some of these coin prices might change you might see the hatcher go down you might see the bryant go slightly up but my point is here is that for right now i think this is a very good uh value at the defensive end position with that desmond bryant he is an excellent card overall he has 91 strength which is an awesome attribute for a right defensive end. Typically, your right defensive ends in this game tend to be your pass rushers versus your left defensive ends almost being more toward the uh, the run support. So finding a guy that's good at right defensive end to be able to actually support in the run is a little bit more difficult, but he does, I think, have some of the attributes that you would definitely want to see. He has 88 block shed, which, as we talked about before, that's a pretty good attribute, in my opinion. He does also have a 94 power power move. So he's only one lower in power move and two lower in block shed, but he's five higher in strength. So as far as the three attributes go, although he's lower in two of them, his overall, like, you know, the difference between them, he's actually slightly better than the Jason Hatcher in the three major areas that we look for. Now, what I will also say is that Jason Hatcher does also have a good finesse move at an 80. It's hard to find an item that has both a good power move and and a good finesse move, but Jason Hatcher definitely does have that. So there's, you know, that's something that we do have to keep in mind, of course. And then their awareness, Desmond Bryant's a little bit higher at an 82 versus Jason Hatcher being an 80. But the major areas where, or the major difference between these two items, in my personal opinion, hit power. Oddly enough, Desmond Bryant with a 90 hit power, Jason Hatcher, 67. I was pretty surprised by that. I think that's very, very low. I don't know what the reasoning is that they gave him only a 67, but that is extraordinarily low for a defensive end. So, you know, that's definitely something to keep in mind. He's not going to be forcing very many fumbles with that 67 hit power. So, you know, if you're looking for a good right defensive end to stop the run, Desmond Bryant at 5,000 coins, he's one-tenth the price of Jason Hatcher. 
pretty damn good value. It's hard to come across somebody that's better than that. Like I mentioned, his price might kind of fluctuate because he is a team of the week. But for right now, and I think for the next couple of months, you're probably going to see him, you know, sit around a 5,000 to a 10,000 coin price. And that should be good for, you know, at least a little while for him to be a quality player before they start introducing more players that basically make him irrelevant. So now that we've talked about some of the right defensive end and left defensive end players that are good at run stuffing, let's move on to the pass rushing players. So... On the left-hand side of your screen, at left defensive end, we have Billy Wynn, road to the playoffs. He's 83 overall, a gold item, going for about 5,000 coins. And then the right side of your screen, flashback, John Abraham, elite, 92 overall. Definitely one of the most expensive defensive ends that you're going to come across. 100,000 coins right now for this item at the time of this video being created. So... 20 times more expensive than Billy Wynn. And obviously, you see on the right-hand side of your screen, there's definitely more green under John Abraham than there is for Billy Wynn. But again, we're not necessarily trying to say that the item on the left is better than the item on the right. What we're trying to do is find an item that is fairly comparable in the important areas. And the important areas, in my opinion, for pass rushing, again, we do have to look at things like strength, block shed and then finesse move or power move depending on the item it, you know it can it can kind of vary from item to item but then for pass rush we do also want to take a look at speed and acceleration so acceleration and speed in these two items john abraham definitely has the upper hand at an 83 speed with 90 acceleration but billy Wynn also checks in at an, a solid 80 speed with 88 acceleration he still is good with an 85 strength as well it's not spectacular it's not you know as high as some of the higher end players or some of the run stuffing defensive ends but his block shed being an 87 is important hugely important guys i know a lot of people say that block shedding only matters for pass or for a run stopping excuse me but I'm, I'm here to tell you i'm almost absolutely certain that block shedding does matter for pass rushing as well and the reason that i say that is because i have gone in and done independent testing and taken a look at the players that have the higher block shedding and then st still keep their attributes the same in the other areas and it definitely does make a difference so Block shedding is very important for pass rushing, just as it is for run support. Don't get the two things confused, um, you know, as being different. They're, they're still very much uh, a portion of what it takes to get to the quarterback. So, again, I, I like those two things. I also do like the fact that Billy Wynn has a 92 finesse move. That is incredible for a player like this who most people don't even know who it is. 92 finesse move is a nice, nice attribute. You compare that with a lot of other items and you're not going to find very many better cards for 5,000 coins. Then you look at the block shedding and finesse move combined with the fact that he has decent speed and acceleration and you're talking about a pretty good pass rusher here. Again, not going to claim that he's better than John Abraham who has the 97 power move and he still has a 78 finesse move which isn't too bad either and he's you know he's better in speed and acceleration as well but what I am telling you is that because of that block shed Billy Wynn does make up some of that gap that he loses as far as like the finesse move uh, his finesse move in comparison to Abraham's power move and then you know of course the strength and that kind of thing he does make up a little bit of that gap. Again, not going to say that he's better, but still a very nice item here for 5,000 coins, guys. It's just, it doesn't get much better than that. So let's move on now and talk about the right defensive end pass rushing position. And we're going to be talking about Ezekiel Ansah. Again, another team of the week item, but one that's only going for about 4,500 coins right now. And this is definitely one that I think is going to stick around as being an item that people use. And the reason I say it is because look at these attributes on this thing. If you're looking for a pass rusher, it does not get much better than this. These two items... Ezekiel Ansah, gold, team of the week, 84 overall, compared to Robert Quinn, 89 overall, elite. They're very, very comparable. And I think that you could make a case in this situation that the Ezekiel Ansah is better for pass rushing than Robert Quinn. And I'm going to tell you why. So, first things first, obviously, we talked about on the other, uh, on the left defensive end pass rushing, we talked about the attributes that matter for pass rushing the most. Strength, block shedding in this case, identical. 86 strength, 80 block shedding for these two items. 
But the big difference, obviously, when you take a look at it, you are going to see that Robert Quinn does have a two higher power move and a four higher, or excuse me, and a four lower finesse move. So Ezekiel Ansa is slightly better with the finesse move, but he's still going to primarily go with that power move. And then you look at the fact that, that Ezekiel Ansa makes up for it because he does have two higher in speed. And then he also is only one lower in acceleration. But the big thing that I thought was very interesting about these two items is that Ezekiel Ansa has 94 hit power. That's insane for a defensive end. There just aren't very many defensive ends that have higher than that. And then you look at Robert Quinn, solid at an 86, but if Ezekiel Ansa gets to the quarterback, he is going to force some fumbles. This card is an animal, guys. 4,500 coins. That is an insane value. It's my favorite value of all these items. So I hope that you guys are able to find this thing for a decent price, somewhere around the 5,000 or below price range is, in my opinion, what you should be paying for them. But I would spend all the way up to 75,000 or even a little bit more if I need a pass rusher. This guy is an absolute beast. Like I said, I think that you could make the case that he is at least as good of a pass rusher, if not slightly better than Robert Quinn just given all the attributes combined. Now, obviously, the major difference between these two items and where you're going to see the big gap as far as their overall goes, he's only got an 80, or a 64 play rec, excuse me, and a 70 awareness, whereas Robert Quinn's 82 awareness and an 80 play rec. So there is a huge gap there, a 12 difference for awareness and a 16 difference for play recognition. But look, if all he's doing is going to the quarterback, who cares? He doesn't need to have high awareness. He doesn't need to have play, high play recognition. Now, it would certainly be helpful, of course, to have those two things, but it's not the most important attributes. The most important attributes, again, speed, acceleration, strength, block shed, and then either power move or finesse move. So that's where I stand on it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something. If you did, please press the like button below. We are going to be putting out another one of these when we get to 200 likes. So the quicker we get to 200 likes, the quicker you guys are going to see another one of these budget series episodes. And I want you guys to tell me, what position do you want me to do next? We've done cornerback, wide receiver. We've done running back. Uh, we've done a couple of different things. So definitely go back uh, offensive line as well. So make sure that you go back and take a look at those before you, you answer in a comment section below but please let me know do you guys want to see quarterbacks do you want to see defensive tackles do you want me to tackle you know the linebacker positions what is it that you want to see I will do my best to answer uh, your questions as well in the comment section below if you guys have any questions regarding today's video and again of course I will be looking in the comment section to determine what position I am going to be doing next once we get to that 200 likes mark so thank you guys so much for tuning in today again I hope you learned something if you did please smash that like button it would give me a, a lot of support to my channel to have a bunch of likes on these type of videos so thank you guys if you if you do like them in advance for hitting that like button and of course if you're new to the channel please be sure to press the subscribe button so that you know when the next video comes out thank you guys so much again i do appreciate all the support and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon